ओ भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो 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 भगवते वासुदेवाय उत्सन्न कूल धर्मान मनुष्या जनादना नरके नियत वासो भवती अनुशुश्रुम उत्सन्नकुलधर्मा मनुष्या जनादन मनुष्या जनादन नरके नियत वासो नरके नियत वासो भवतीशुश्रुमुशुश्रुमा उत्सन्नकुलधर्मा उत्सन्नकुलधर्मा मनुष्या जनादन मनुष्या जनादन नरके नियत वासो नरके नियत वासो भवतीशुश्रुमुश्रुमा Spoiled, kula dharma nam. Of those who have the family tradition. Manusya nam. Of such men. Janardana. O Krishna. Narake. In hell. Niyatam. Always. Vasaha. Residence. Bhavati, it so becomes. Iti, thus. Anushushruma, I have heard by disciplic succession. Translation: O Krishna, maintainer of the people, I have heard by disciplic succession that those who destroy family traditions dwell always in hell. so family tradition whose family tradition manushya family <coughs> manushya those who are two men being they have got family and family uh, rituals kula dharma jati dharma uh, Just like Chaturbandhu Maya system, Guna Karma Vibhaga. This is meant for the human being, Manushrana, not for the animals. <coughs> so, unless the human society accepts these uh, principle of Varna Sangharma. Ordained by Krishna, the supreme Lord, <coughs> he is not considered amongst the human being. They are as good as animals because there is no uh, regular, systematic principles of how to live a human being. that for the uh, vishnu puran uh, when chaitanya mahaprabhu was talking with ramanandra so chaitanya mahaprabhu inquired what is the actual aim of life sadha 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 and sadha What is the aim? Sadha means what for this human form of life we have got. That is called sadhya. The goal 
the goal of life and sadhan sadhan means the activity by which we can attain we can achieve that goal of life this is called sadha sadhan uh, the darwin theory although they are giving some idea a progressive uh, evolution but he does not know what is the goal of life why this progress is there that these rascals they do not know they <coughs> simply just imagine taking some hints from the padma purana uh, brahma vaivarta purana asidin saturan chaiva uh, जीवजातिषु लक्षास्ता जीवजातिषु देर आर एट एट मिलियन फोर हंड्रेड थाउजेंड टाइप्स ऑफ जीवजाति असिंग चतुरांग चैव लक्षास्ता जीवजाति दिस इज ऑलरेडी देर ब्राह्मण भी in this way the living entity is wandering in the cycle of transmigration and the show so from this mr darwin might have taken some hints but he could not explain properly he could not catch up that brahmad vi who is wandering so it is a chaos so anyway uh, why this living entity is one day uh, not fixed up uh, so there must be some goal is hankering after that uh, there must be some goal of life uh, to to achieve that goal of life that is called sadha why you are struggling here uh, for happiness or something is we are struggling uh, so this question was raised by chaitanya mahaprabhu the what is the goal of life unless there is goal of life why there is struggle uh, why there there must be some goal of life sad and sadhan sadhan means the means by which we can achieve that goal of life that is called sadhan sadhana <coughs> so ramananda rai quoted because when there is talk between two learned person and they just like nowadays it has become a fashion in my opinion i think in this way there what nonsense why we can think what is your knowledge huh? but he is very proud everyone writes that uh, the other day the sir alister alister hardy came he also says uh, it is my opinion nobody thinks that he is a nonsense number 1 what is the value of his opinion nobody thinks that this is a basic principle even chaitanya mahaprabhu he when he was asked by prakashananda saraswati that you are a sanyasi you do not engage yourself in the study of vedanta you are simply chanting hari krishna hari krishna so because sanyas is supposed to be always reading vedanta philosophy especially and all other philosophies so what is this that you are chanting like a, a sentimental person so chaitanya mahaprabhu replied yes my guru maharaj spiritual master saw me a fool number 1 uh, so chaitanya mahaprabhu uh, 
It was known to Prakashan Saraswati was a great learned scholar in his student life. So he is posing himself as a fool number one. So this is the way Chaitanya Charitamrita, the author of Chaitanya Charitamrita, he is presenting himself as a Purisher ki thaite mui se lobhishta. I am lower than the worm of the stew. Purisher ki thaite mui se lobhishta. Lobhishta means lower. Lowest. Jagai madhai thaite mui se papishta. Jagai madhai was taken. Uh, was, they are drunkards, woman hunters. Therefore, they. Uh, sinful. So Chaitanya Chaitamurta Kakar says that Jagai Madhai Bhaita Muisha Pakishta. Although uh, this, this is the way uh, nobody thinks himself as one has become very big man and he has his own opinion to give. This is Raskarna. Uh, everyone should think that I am free. What, I, what is my value? Uh, that is really learning. Uh, humble and meek. Uh, nobody should think that now I have learnt everything. I can surpass everyone. Uh, I have become uh, above all rules and regulations. Now I have become Paramahamsa. This is Raskar. Everyone should always think and fool number one. Therefore they never will go on to become perfect. If we think that now I have become perfect, Paramahamsa, then the spiritual regulatory principles will never be followed. And he will fall down. So, here Arjuna also says, the Naraki niyatanga basa bhavati iti onususuma. Krishna, I have heard it from authoritative sense. <coughs> he never says, Krishna, in my opinion, if it is done like that, then people will go to hell. He does not give his own opinion. He says, it is thus onususma avha. This is called parampara system. Nobody should give his own opinion. He must quote the authoritative statement to support his proposition. So similarly, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked, what is the aim of life and how to achieve it? So Ramananda Rai, he did not give his own opinion, that in my opinion, like this. Here also Arjun said, it is onu I have heard it. Heard it means susuma means a heart from authority. So Ramananda Raya said that a real purpose of life, goal of life, is to satisfy the Supreme Personality of God. Just like as we are citizens, what is our duty? We want to satisfy the authority, the government. When one serves the government nicely in this country, he is recognized as knight, he is recognized as earl, as lord, as so many they have got title. <coughs> Every country, when a person is a very exalted citizen, then he is recognized by the God. See, if this is the system in our ordinary life, 
then uh, the aim of life should be to satisfy the supreme governor or supreme government. It is very common sense. So, but they have no supreme god. They think whatever government we make, that is final. No. There are so many kingdoms, so many planets. In each planet there is government, there is authority, and above all of them there is the supreme authority, Krishna, Ishara Parama Krishna, Satchidananda Vigra. This is the Shastri Indian. Uh, there are many controllers. In this planet, there is controller, there is another planet, another planet. Even Brahma is the controller of the whole universe. Just like uh, in our government, there is system, one department, uh, several departments is being managed by another <coughs> director, several director is being managed by another secretary. And the same system, uh, Krishna is the supreme proprietor, Sarva Loko Maheshwara. And he has got many secretaries as his stands. Uh, they are called Brahma. So Brahma means the manager of one Brahman universe. And there are millions of Brahmas. Uh, millions, trillions. They are numberless. Ananta Koti. Jasya Prabha Prabhavatu Jagadanda Koti. Koti. Koti means unlimited. <coughs> Jagadanda. Jagadanda means universe. Brahmanda or Jagadanda. Anda. Anda means it is egg set. Round egg set. That would be called Anda. Brahmanda. Uh, Bhugol. Gol means round. Uh, I have heard that before uh, the science, the people were under the impression that this world is square. Uh, is it not? Flat. Flat, yes. Flat, yes. But in the Vedic Shastra, uh, millions of years ago, it is mentioned, Bhugo, gold, gold means round. Uh, just see. And these askers say that formerly people are not so intelligent. They are intelligent because they are thinking this world is flat. And those who have spent millions of years ago, it is round, they have less intelligence. Let's see. Gold, gold means round. Bhu gold. <coughs> Similarly, Jagadanda, Anna means round. Oh, just like egg. <coughs> Anna means egg. Jagat Anna. This anywhere is egg shape. <coughs> and you can see also the sky is round. Oh, this is the wall of this universe. Uh, so anyway, so uh, as we are here in this small government, our business is to satisfy the government. You publicly, suppose if you decry the queen, or if you say publicly in a meeting, the queen is a prostitute, then what will be? Immediately you will be arrested and punished. In your private house you can say, nobody will hear. But if you say such thing nonsense in public, immediately you will be criminal. Therefore your duty is, to respect the queen, to abide by the orders of the government, that is your aim of good citizenship. What is the difference between good citizen and outlaws? The difference is a good citizen is always trying to satisfy the government by abiding the laws given by the government. <coughs> So therefore our ultimate goal is to satisfy the Supreme God, Krishna, because Krishna is the Supreme. Uh, these 
universe says they are uh, Krishna's kingdom. There are many kingdoms, just like we have got many universes within this material world. Similarly, there are many spiritual planets in the spiritual world. These are common sense affairs. Why people will not understand? Therefore, our business is to satisfy Krishna, to become perfect. Satisfy Krishna. Vishnu Aradha. <coughs> so, how Vishnu Aradha? This is the philosophy. Nati Vidu Sartakotanya Vishnu. Just suppose in an office, you are immediate boss, some superintendent of the office. You follow his orders. Although he is not final, above the superintendent of the office, there is another secretary. Above the secretary, there is another director. Above the director, there is managing director. These are common sense things. Similarly, there are many, many controllers. But the supreme controller is Krishna or Vishnu. So it is common sense at that that our aim of life is to satisfy the supreme Lord, Vishnu or Krishna. This is common sense. Is there any other reasoning that why you should satisfy? No, you have to satisfy. So this is Vaishnavism. One who wants to satisfy Vishnu, he is called Vishnu. That is Vaishnavism. Vishnu means the Supreme Law. So everything is arranged to satisfy the Lord Vishnu. So where from it begins? The cats and dogs, they, they can be trained up for satisfying Vishnu. No, there is no possibility. They are dogs, animals, they are simply busy with four <coughs> principles of life. Eating, sleeping, sex life, and defense. That's all. They cannot be trained off <coughs> that you become uh, very obedient to Lord Vishnu, become a devotee. Manmana, Bhava, Madhvakta, Madhyaji, Maam Namaskuru. You become uh, the devotee of Krishna. Uh, no, that is not possible. <coughs> Therefore, it is said that. Manushana. Manushana. It is the duty of the manusha, not of the dog. Manushana. Ussana kula dharmana manushana. So, human life has got a great responsibility. If you become like cats and dogs, the hippies, then Utsanna, everything is destroyed. Utsanna Kuladhana. They have no family. They don't care for any rules and regulations. Utsanna, everything is destroyed. Jagannā guna vrittistha. No family life, no taking bath, no watching, nothing at all. Irresponsible. I have seen it in Amsterdam. What is that part? Horrible. A child, this, this, what was spoken by Arjun 5,000 years ago, it is now happening. Ussarna, all destroyed. Finish. Kula dharmana, no family life. Therefore, for human beings, it is the duty to understand his position, and it is his duty to satisfy the Supreme Law. This is the whole plan. Therefore, Ramananda Rai quoted the verse from Vishnu Pura. The Varnasama Charvatanga Purushena Parakumar Vishnu Aradhati. Because the aim, aim is 
to satisfy Vishnu, to become Vaishnava. Uh, to become Brahmana is also a uh, lower status. Uh, you will hear from the Chaitanya Chirtamita that uh, our Madhavendra Puri, he was installing deities. So there are many Brahmanas, caste Brahmana, born in. So in order to give charge of worship to those Brahmanas, he initiated them to become Vaishnava. Because without becoming Vaishnava, uh, nobody has got right to worship Vishnu. Vishnu will not accept anything from anyone unless he is devotee. And Krishna is poverty stricken that he has come to take from you. Uh, he cannot eat, he has no eating uh, means. No. He agrees to accept our offering uh, just on the basis of love. Uh, the Vaishnava loves Vishnu and Vishnu agrees to accept any pushta. Patram pushtam phalantoyam jumi bhaktya prajachati. That bhakti is main thing, not your palatable dish. Uh, Vishnu is quite competent to prepare thousand times better palatable dishes than you can offer. Uh, but the real thing is bhakti. Uh, so Vishnu aradhana means Vishnu, that, that should be the aim of human life. Vishnu aradhana means one must become a Vaishnava. And Vaishnava means regulated life. Not destroy everything, finish, to become hogs. Uh, that is not Vaishnava. Vaishnava means regulated. Aim to how to satisfy Vishnu. So whole Vedic scheme is there. How to satisfy Vishnu? Therefore it is said, the Ussanna Kula Dharmanam Manushana. In the human life, if they do not follow the regulative principles of family life, family tradition, and systematic arrangement of whole division of the society, Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, uh, in this way, we can satisfy the Supreme Lord. Our aim is to satisfy the Supreme Lord. And this can be done perfectly if we follow the uh, regulative principles of Jati Dharma, Kula Dharma. Jati Dharma means if you are born in the family of a Brahmana, you have got particular duties. Uh, simply, if you think yourself that I am, in, I am born in a Brahman family, my duty is all finished. Now I can do whatever nonsense. They think like that. I have spoken. Uh, they are very much proud of taking birth in Brahman family. So when others are engaged in devotional service, they say, Oh, you are born in lower family, you have got to do this. We are born in Brahman, we have nothing to do. But they do not know that jati dharma kulagrana, ussanna kuladharmana. If you are actually Brahmana, you must keep your family tradition. That is Brahmana. Otherwise, if you sacrifice everything of your family tradition. Uh, just like in your country, the Lord family, uh, the Lord family is maintained. Uh, the government, uh, the Lord family has got money deposited with the government, and government uh, gives the interest so that the family tradition may be maintained. The aristocratic style, or if they spoil, there are no more cares for them. Uh, uh, then their house will be sold and they will be street beggar. Yes, no more Lord family. 
So everywhere you take politically or socially or spiritually. Uh, the for human being, if you want to make your life successful, then you must uh, keep the tradition of Brahmana Vaishnava. So our we are Vaishnava. Uh, our only tradition is how to satisfy Vishnu. That is the tradition of everyone. But especially Vaishnava. Uh, they must be very alert, uh, very careful how to keep uh, Lord Vishnu or Krishna satisfied. That is our only business. Uh, so you should not neglect it. Then Usana Kula Dharma. Then you will spoil everything. When you have invited Vishnu or Krishna, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, to accept your service, you must be very, very careful how to render service. How cleansly, how nicely you have to serve. Otherwise, everything will be spoiled. Sanna Kula Dharma. Vaishnava's Kula Dharma is simply to satisfy Krishna. <coughs> So, in the Manushana, actually, human life begins when he is ready to serve the Supreme Lord, Vishnu. That is human life. Other is animal life. Ah. Therefore, the whole world is in chaos. They are not eager to serve Vishnu. They are simply eager to serve their senses. Godas. Servant of the senses. So, instead of becoming servant of the senses, you have to become master of the senses. That is called Goshan. Uh, if you remain servant of the senses, then you are Godas. Kamadi Nankati Dhanakati. That is animal life. And when you become master of the senses, eh? how, how it is possible? Master of the senses. Now, if you employ your senses always in the service of Krishna, your senses are already controlled. Just like your tongue. Uh, your tongue asks you go to the restaurant and eat some nice thing. Uh, but if you are a Vaishnava, if you have this vow that I shall not allow my tongue to eat anything except prasada, it is already controlled. Goshan. That means to control the senses means to engage the senses in the service of the Lord. This is control. Otherwise, by force, just like the yogis, they try artificially by some gymnastics. Uh, that may be possible for some time, but it, it is. There are many instances. It will because by force you cannot control the senses. That is not possible. You must give better engagement. Uh, if I force, uh, you uh, think that I shall control my tongue, I shall control my eyes, I shall control my eyes, I shall control my belly. Artificial. It may be possible for some time. But they are so strong, the senses are so strong, artificially it cannot be strong. Stated in the Bhagavad Gita. You give the senses better engagement. Uh, then you can control. Rishi Kena, Rishi Kesha, Sevanangma, Sarvapadi Vinin Maktam You have to purify the senses. How? By engaging the senses in the Sakvaratya. No. In then you will be able to purify the senses. And the purified senses, when you are engaged, engaged in the service of the Supreme, that is called bhakti. So, if we are actually human beings, manushana, kulodharma, this family tradition is not meant for the cats and dogs. Uh, if you live like cats, no question of family tradition. But if you live, want to live like human beings, manushana, then this system must be karvata purushina parapama. Then society must be divided uh, into four classes. Uh, as we have got four divisions in the Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra must be there. 
and each one should serve according to his guna karma quality and capacity to work the whole society is organized position will be perfect there will be peace right? no war oh nothing on the side and gradually making progress back to home back to home other entity will take over and become at the present moment so i can say usanna kula dharma manushana manusha janardana jana means general public one controls krishna controls every janardana so my dear janardana krishna in the human society if this plan this traditional process uh, then what it becomes naraki niyatam basa if we do not happen if we live like a sangha then next life we get cat and these rascals do not know they do not know the next life uh, so it is hard to cut but but say you put yourself if you do not follow the process the banna samdharna in society उत्सन्न कुलगणा मनुष्य नारिहस्पति So when Brahma again came to recall him, the how Indra, he was Indra. He denied no responsibility. Yes. Huh? Family, the how eating Indra, Aparanatmi Kasho, lowest uh, standard living. He will think that I am very happy. This is called Aparan. Uh, he the how think that I am living the most, and he will die. In the human mind, in his condition of life, then he can make progress in spiritual life. And so, so long he thinks, I am living very peacefully, very happy. Atharva Brahma Jitya. Unless one comes to that, that sense will come when one follows the tradition of family life. Atharva Jitya.